What the fuck? Dude, this is some scary game shit. I'm playing a scary game and this is gonna be in the doorway, bro. I don't know why she's standing like that. That's the most awkward way to stand when someone's taking a picture of you. What in the Cindy Lou Who haircut are we doing here, bro? Tony, some of these people, you don't even gotta say shit. What the fuck? What is this? This is the most Kardashian Kanye shit I've ever seen in my life, bro. Oh, man, you are a man. She looks like the Harry Potter fuckers. You know the dude, you know that like suck the soul out of you type shit. The Harry Potter, you know? Yeah, the Dementors. What is this? This looks like grandma's quilt. Captain Crunch. <laughs> dude, it literally looks like a bowl with Captain Crunch. That's fucking hilarious. There is a show that I want to watch. It is called The Moment of Truth. A, a lot of people actually in my fucking DMs sending me clips of this show, telling me it's like one of the best shows, underrated shows of all time. So it's called Moment of Truth. I don't really know how it works, but I'm sure they're going to explain it to us. So prior to tonight's show, all of our participants have undergone a rigorous polygraph exam. They don't okay. know the results of that test, but if they tell the truth, they can win up to a half a million dollars. And if they feel they may not have been truthful during the polygraph test, they can change their answers tonight. Well, let's meet our first participant. Okay. Lauren Cleary is a 26-year-old hair salon assistant from Piermont, New York. She was asked over 50 questions by a polygraph examiner. 21 have been chosen for tonight. Lauren Cleary, this is your moment of truth. Okay, so she took a polygraph they're gonna ask her questions and her family i think is in the stands and they have to see if she's uh telling the truth or not got it lauren you're not only here telling the truth in front of all of america you brought family and friends to support you as well let's meet him right now who's here i'm frank lauren's husband hello frank I'm Jay, oh uh, frank i'm kim lauren's mother hi i'm monica lauren's sister now i'm tim lauren's brother Okay, Lauren, we start with level one, and it has six questions. All you have to do is answer all six truthfully. You win $10,000. Dude, this okay? is easy. Question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle when, in fact, you didn't? Well... Easy question, yes. No, I have never. That answer is true. Wow. What? Yo, W hairstylist. I feel like, dude, I feel like they do that all the time. They say it's a good hairstyle when they're really cutting it and shit. And they're like, damn, this is ass. This shit is ass. I'm pretty much, I don't, I don't know everything and anything. Nobody gives a fuck. Ask a question. Question two. Thank you. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? I'm going to have to say yes, Mark. I have. Okay, Frank was happy at first, but now I can tell he's a little pissed, bro. I can tell he's bothered. I just, I feel the energy, man. True. Oh, Frank. Dude, this is I the easiest is show to win a million dollars on. Question three. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? Before she answers, I want honest answers. Dog or homeless guy first, bro? Dude, look how many dogs are in chat. Oh my God. Look how many, <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy. Well, I would have to say I'd rather give food to dogs rather than homeless person. Oh, she said it too, so bro? answer would be? Yes. Yes. That's, that's that fine. That answer is true. Wow. I hope to some degree you have since your husband is a police officer. So what do you think about this, Frank? Well, I, I arrested her, and so by me arresting her is me marrying her. So I am, she's in my prison. You are quite the romantic, Frank. No, I don't sound like you. Did this just get like, like, did this turn into a fetish thing? Was this planned? Like, he loves it. Look at his face. Question six. For 10 grand. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? I am going to have to say, no, I would not. Why? There's no way, there's no way. That answer is... A lie. Something we'll find out right after this break. Come on! <laughs> Motherfucker! True. Okay. 
Question seven. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to avoid having sex with your husband, Frank? Oh! What do you think the answer is? Yes. Answer. We'll see. <laughs> so, all right. Well, the question's on you. Frank! Pretended to be asleep, pretended to have a headache, so yes. <laughs> that answer is true. Oh, my man. Dude, look at <laughs> Look at his face. He is so hurt right now. Every question is just a jab. It's a jab. It's a jab. He is fucking hurting right now, bro. Question eight. What are these random Do questions? Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? Okay. Yes, I do. That answer is... There is no way. True. There is no way they are still a thing after this show. No shot. Question 12. Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not- Oh, know? we're getting into the grease. We're getting into the grease, baby. Come on. Oh, this is where it gets crazy. Oh. Uh, okay. What do you think, Frank? It's a yes. Has I think to I want to hear her answer. Oh! Uh, the answer is no. She lost. That answer is... True. No! Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? Yo! That's a good one. That. Yeah. <laughs> right in the ticker. Right there. I tried to warn you. No. Dude, this show okay. is so uh, good, actually. Yes, I have. Oh! That answer is. Oh, boy. True. Oh, no! No, don't do that now. You're too deep in the hole. Too little too late for that, huh? Question 14. Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Yeah, no, he's confident. He's confident. No. Is true. Oh! This guy, his smile is slowly wiping away. Hey, we need to save Frank, bro. We need to save Frank. My boy Frank needs to get the fuck out of this. I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm gonna give it to you. Oh, shit. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. This is your $100,000 moment of truth. Oh. And this question will not be asked by me. Oh, it's shit. by a surprise guest. Oh my God. Who's this? Lauren, can you tell everybody who this is? Or do I need to do it? I, I can't speak right now, so. This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. What? They have the same name? No! No! Hold on, I gotta see this. I gotta see this. I gotta see this. Once again, question 15. <clears throat> Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? Oh my god! Oh! Um, I um, want to be honest and say yes. No! That answer is... No. 
true. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god. There is no way this relationship continued after this. This man is broken. Dude, the thing is, she gets the 100k, not him, right? She gets the 100k, not him. He loses his girl and doesn't win any money. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say at this point? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. So, might as well just go for it. Oh, he's got his mind. Yeah, he knows divorce. He knows. This is a little bigger than the game right now. So you have $100,000. It's like okay? quiet and awkward shit. You leave here with $100,000 right now, and you go home with your husband, Frank, and you have to now figure out where you two are. But tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What else, what else is there to really tell me? What? Question 16. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? No! Dude. I wish the button was still there. Yeah. Telling me. No, bro! That answer is... True. Oh my god! Oh my god! This man, his soul is gone. This man's heart is broken. He's coming out with a cold fucking heart. He doesn't give a fuck anymore. Question 17. Do you think you're a good person? Huh? Honestly, I think I am a good person. So your answer is? Yes. That answer is... It's true. It's true. False. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family and I thank you very oh, much. Oh yeah, no family. shot. I wish you the best. <laughs> Yo, wow, bro. I didn't think this show was that good. I thought, I didn't even think they were going to ask questions like that. Yo, do you guys want to watch more of those, uh, of that show uh, later this week? That was insane. That show's crazy. I definitely want to watch more. Yeah.